Assalamualaikum So for this semester, for the second semester The first chapter will be the chapter limits Alright, so the first thing you have to know is to state the limit of a function Alright, okay, so the definition of a limit Limit are used to describe how a function behave As the independent variables of x approaching a given value Okay, so this is written as here yeah. Alright, so how do we read it? So we read it as the limit of fx as x approach a is l. We read, okay, that's it. The next one, the limit of fx when x approaching a negative. Alright, we read it as the limit of x, fx as x approach a from left. Alright, and the next one, we read, Limit of fx when x approaching a positive as the limit of fx as x approach a from the right. Okay, this is the most important thing that you have to know, right? So, we are only concerned with the values of fx near the point of x equals to a and not the value of fx at the point of x equals to a. That means we are not concerning of what happened here. So we are only concerned what happened when x approaching a from the left hand side and also what happened if x is approaching a from the right hand side. Okay, how do we evaluate the limit of a function? So there are two different methods to evaluate the limit of a function. Alright, so the first one is intuitive approach is by uh, using table. Okay, so for the first step, you have to pick some several values of x close enough to a. And then you have to observe the pattern of the correspond fx values. And the next step, we need to guess the value of fx when x is approaching a. Alright, okay, so the, the second one, alright, we are going to estimate the limit by using graph. To evaluate limit from the graph fx, we just have to simply observe the value that the corresponding fx values as x values get closer and closer to a on the x-axis. Alright, okay, so look at the first method. By using intuitive approach, okay, look at here. We are going to find the limit of x squared plus 1 when x is approaching 0, right? Okay, look at the table here. So, we are choosing several values less than 0 and also some values greater than 0. And we are looking at the value of fx here. Okay, so by looking at the value of fx, we might say that the limit of x squared plus 1, alright, when x approaching 0 from the left hand side is actually approaching 1. So it is approaching 1. Alright, so we are also looking... The limit of x squared plus 1 when x is approaching 0 from the right hand side. Okay, look at here. Alright, so it is approaching 1 as well. So therefore, since the limit of fx approaching 0 from the left hand side... And the right hand side equals to 1. So we can say that the limit of x squared plus 1 when x approaching 0 is actually also equals to 1. Okay. Okay. How can we estimate the limit by graph? Right. So this is a quadratic function. So we have just learned how to sketch a quadratic function. So we have the minimum point here at 0, 1. Alright, okay, so by looking here, by observing the graph, right, so we can see that by observing the graph, okay, if you are taking any value of x less than 0, so we look here, right, so it is actually approaching 1, right, so we can see that limit of x squared 
plus 1 when x approaching 0 from the left hand side equals to 1. Okay, and also we can look at the function, uh, the limit of the function x squared plus 1 when x approaching 0 from the right hand side. So look at here. When x approaching 0 from the right hand side, it is actually approaching 1 as well. Alright, so that we can say that the limit of x squared plus 1 approaching x approaching 0 from the left hand side equals to the right hand side equals to 1. So therefore, the limit here will be 1. Alright, okay. So later, you can try to do the next page, question number 2. Thank you.